I recently got a package, and this is what came inside. This is the type of bubble wrap that doesn't pop. If you try pressing on one of these bubbles, it's impossible. It just doesn't pop. Like, I'm pretty much squeezing down the entire bubble. If you look closely, you can see that these are connected. It's like a row of bubbles. So like this row is all connected, this row is all connected, this row is all connected. So when you squeeze it, the air just goes into the other bubbles. And there's a reason why they do this, right? The, this type of bubble wrap can be sold to companies in flat sheets. And then the company can have a machine that blows it up at, at their, you know, after it's been delivered. And that way they can ship a whole lot more of this type of bubble wrap. One single truck load of this type of bubble wrap uh, can fit as much packaging material as 47 truckloads of the old bubble wrap. So like, yeah, it's good for the environment and whatever. Okay, but I don't get my bubble wrap. I don't get to pop my bubble wrap, I don't get to enjoy one of the few few life's pleasures. Sure, a polar bear is saved, but what have the polar bears ever done for me? There is good news though. I recently found out that you actually can pop these. You just have to have the right technique. You have to pop all of the bubbles in the same row. Ah! At once! Booyah! Ugh. And I would argue that it's that this is actually more satisfying than the regular bubble wrap because it's so much more violent. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. My ears hurt. This is the last one. The last bubble I'll get to pop. Ah! Ah, my ear. My ears hurt. I can't hear out of my left ear now because it was so loud. Yeah, I definitely can't hear as well. Like my ears ringing. That was really loud, but really fun. So you know what? Fine. Give me all your new bubble wrap and destroy my hearing apparently. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.